Informed consent is such an important tool in research for the social scientists that we refer back towards its nitty gritties again and again. Informed consent is one of the founding principle of research ethics because iske bagair hum actually kisi bhi research ke andar formally or informally enter nahi ho sakte. It's an intent that the participant can enter research freely with full information about its risk and benefits and they give consent before they enter into research. So now looking at the different stages of informed consent, we all know that informed consent is between two parties where one is uh, informing about the status of the research and other one is committing that yes, he or she would be the part of that research. But here comes different stages as well. There is a process that begun with recruitment and screening of participants like our sampling ka criteria either wo fulfill kar rahe hain ya nahi, either they are going to be the potential participants or not and continues throughout the participants involvement in the research. Once they have been identified as the potential participants, uske baad unki continuity chalegi throughout the research mare data collection ke phase mein. It includes providing specific information about study to participants in a comprehensible manner. So whatever would be the study plan, either it's a black and white paper pencil test, it's going to be some interview, it's going to be uh, some focus group technique, it's going to be probably a detailed interview. So whatever it is, we have to explain the procedure, we have to explain the process through which the participants might have to go through. Answering questions to explain research and role of participants in it. Kitna time lagega? Participant ka exactly uske in the role kya hoga? What he or she is supposed to do in that? That should be uh, given in a very brief and concise manner into informed consent. Then giving adequate time to participants to consider their decisions. Like when we give informed consent to someone, it's ethically very much appropriate that you give some time to the participants to think about it that either they are going to be the part of that research happily or not. Or agar unke kuch reservations hain, we can communicate over them aur phir unhe resolve karne ke baad unse consent sign sign karwa kar unko hum apni research ke protocols de sakte hain. And by protocol I mean whatever the type of the questionnaires you are going to use for your research are referred back as protocols including your demographic information. Then obtain voluntary agreement by the participants to take part in the study and can decline the answer specific questions or withdraw at any time. So, you know, we have to give them that opportunity to the participants that if they want to question uh, anything during the process and if they want to withdraw that whole exercise, they are free to do that. However, we can politely tell them that if you leave it in the middle, then what can be the damage of research potentially? So, for that, you can decide to save it before you decide. Answering questions to explain research and role of the participant in it. This is very much important because from top to bottom, at all stages, you are obliged to give answers to the participants. Then informed consent procedures. Informed consent procedures involve informing respondents either orally or in writing as well as getting their oral or written consent. So in some situation where we see that we are going to do a convenient sampling Probably the researcher is standing outside the gate of the Pepsi uh, challenge context and people are coming and going inside and you are just going to ask about the attitude of the people about drinking a certain cola. So here it's not important that you are going to get the written informed consent. Here you can just orally ask them that what is your opinion about that certain thing. So are you okay to give answer for that? So the oral consent would be fine enough in that situation. Depending on the type of the research, different ways of obtaining informed consent are possi possible as I just mentioned. In what situations written informed consent is important? It is used when reading and signing forms is not problematic. It's a proper protocol of a research. The research is complex and it has to be gone through multiple stages. And first access to the research participants is by providing writing information. So, jaha protocols high hai, Research complex se vaha written comp informed consent lena bhi important hai. Coming towards the oral informed consent. An oral in uh, consent is uh, going to be processed where 
लिटरेसी इज अ प्रॉब्लम यू नो इन पाकिस्तान लिटरेसी इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग हैं जो लिटरेट नहीं है आपका पूरा वो रिटर्न कंसेंट फॉर्म नहीं पढ़ सकते वहाँ आप उन्हें पढ़ के बता सकते हैं और ओरल कंसेंट ले सकते हैं देन देर आर कल्चरल और पोलिटिकल कंसर्न विद साइनिंग द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लाइक डॉक्यूमेंट्स यू नो देर आर द डिफरेंट जियो पोलिटिकल सिचुएशन गोइंग ऑन और उसमें हम शायद जाकर कश्मीर के लोगों से कोई ओपिनियन लेना चाह रहे हैं कि इंडियन फोर्सेज अगर उनकी टेरिटरी में आती हैं तो वो कैसा फील करते हैं और वहाँ पर हम उनसे कहते हैं कि इन राइटिंग लिख के दें सो दे मे नॉट बी कम्फर्टेबल इनफ टू गिव यू दैट डॉक्यूमेंट इन राइटिंग वहाँ पे हम ओरल कंसेंट से भी लोगों के ओपिनियंस और एटीट्यूड्स पूछ सकते हैं देन टाइम फॉर कंसेंट इज लिमिटेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ चांस इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन रिसर्चर एंड पार्टिसिपेंट इज लिमिटेड लाइक अगर एक ऐसी सिचुएशन में कोई हैपनिंग है जहाँ पर हम ये नहीं पूछ सकते लेट से हम किसी कोई ट्रोमेटिक इवेंट हो जाता है कोई नेचुरल डिजास्टर हो जाता है और वहाँ पर रिसर्चर और उसकी टीम जाते हैं और वो जो विक्टम्स होते हैं उनसे कोई क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं उनसे कोई डाटा कलेक्ट कर रहे होते हैं वहाँ पे शायद ओरल कंसेंट ही सिर्फ लिया जा सकता है वो सिचुएशन के अंदर हम रिटर्न बॉन्ड में एंटर नहीं हो सकते सो बेसिकली इट सीम्स टू बी अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग बट इट सीम्स टू बी अ टेक्निकल साइड बाय साइड बिकॉज वी हैव टू सी दैट इन वट सिचुएशन वी आर गोइंग टू ऑर्क फॉर द रिटर्न कंसेंट एंड इन वट सिचुएशन वी आर गोइंग टू गो फॉर द ओरल कंसेंट